The entire nation continues to mourn the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. The trailblazing Supreme Court justice died on Friday, but the bitter partisan battle over her replacement is just starting to heat up. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susanna joins us now at the digital desk with the latest details. Roger. Good morning, Nicole. You know, the process of replacing Supreme Court justices often creates controversy, but doing so now, just weeks from Election Day, threatens to divide our nation even more along party lines. <laughs> President Trump may nominate a Supreme Court justice this week. We have an obligation as the winners to pick who we want. CBS News has learned two women, Judges Amy Coney Barrett and Barbara Lagoa, are among the frontrunners. I would say that a woman would be... In first place, yes. But Democrats in the Senate, including Connecticut's Richard Blumenthal and Chris Murphy, insist the winner of November's election should appoint the new justice, a sentiment that Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden agrees with. The voters of this country should be heard. As I said, voting has already begun. A Reuters Ipsos poll found 62% of Americans believe the next president should fill the vacancy. So far, two Republican senators say they oppose a nomination this close to the election. At least two more would have to join them to block a confirmation. Let the people speak. Cool the flames that have been engulfing our country. Now, by the way, Senator Richard Blumenthal is calling on more Republicans in the Senate to buck the party line. We'll let you hear what he has to say about this controversial issue coming up in about half an hour. Live at the Digital Desk, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.